6. Surefire ways to stop overthinking in a relationship. Do you go over and over something trivial that your partner said? Do you have a habit of mulling over something bad that happened between you two in the past? Is overthinking ruining your relationship? Well, to be honest overthinking is that uninvited guest whom we have to deal with despite hating the most. Overthinking a relationship is even worse. It not only affects a relationship but also has the potential to hamper your physical and mental health. No matter how much you try there comes a phase where you overanalyze and overthink every insignificant thing that your partner said or did. We have all been through it and certainly are aware of how nerve-wracking and mentally taxing it can be. Being stuck in the past or future contemplating every little thing holds you back from enjoying the present moments with your partner. So, how to stop overthinking in a relationship? Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be revealing some of my tried and tested ways that helped me stop overthinking in my relationship. So, let's get straight into it without further ado. 6. Stop reading between the lines. Much of the problem is created by the habit of reading between the lines trying to find the hidden meaning. However, mostly things aren't that complicated if you start taking them at face value. Reading a single text 10 times making out 10 different meaning of it is, not only exhausting you but also jeopardizing the relationship. Sometimes a simple, K, means, K. Sometimes a, see you soon, means exactly what it implies. An uncertain phrase used here and there doesn't mean that your partner doesn't have a plan to meet you soon. Not everything needs your two cents and you should not do that to your brain either. 5. Start living in the present. Enjoy the present instead of dwelling over the past or worrying about the future. What if I had done that? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or, what if it didn't work out? The constant rambling between the past and the future gallops the happy moments of the present. You can never really have a content relationship with your partner. If you constantly overthink every little thing whether in the past or the future. Overthinking severely hampers the success of a relationship. Rather than thinking about, what will happen after two months? Where will we go for our anniversary dinner? Or, will he even remember the date or not? Think about the present moments. Think about how your partner being around uplifts your mood. By the way, if you are liking our content so far then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, ring the bell to get notified with the latest content and grow with us. Now, let's move ahead. 4. Communicate openly. Keeping the lines of communication open really helps in dealing with any distracting thoughts. When you can communicate openly with your partner you can share any insecurity or any thought with them. However, it is advisable not to share everything that comes into your mind. Sometimes our mind gets wild and it makes up dramatic stories that does not even exist in the first place. So you need to think logically about that first. Having a person with whom you can share all your doubts and fears is important. It makes you feel valued and worthy of attention and love. But, if you go over and over the same thing, it will lose value and you won't get anything more than eye roll. 3. Focus on the positives. Human beings are made of positives and negatives. There is not one person on earth who doesn't possess any negative traits. But, the point is to strike a balance while evaluating a person. If a person has one negative trait, then they certainly would have countless positive traits too. So, you need to stop thinking about the negatives all the time. Stop remembering how they made you feel bad that one time six months ago. What about the time they made you feel out of this world? What about the happy moments? Cherish the positives and train your brain to focus on the positives. Because it is the negative thoughts that seeps in overthinking. 2. Distract yourself. It's nothing more than boredom mostly. Your mind needs something to ponder over if you have nothing substantial to feed it. Get busy with yourself. Find a new hobby. Join a Zumba class or volunteer in an organization. This way you'll remain focused on yourself without keeping your partner at the target. This way you'll remain focused on yourself without keeping your partner at the target. You'll also know more about yourself. You would know if you enjoy helping people. If you like dancing or working out. Although, it is important to stay active to maintain a healthy lifestyle. It often serves as a distraction too. Spending that one hour at the gym instead. Of thinking about why your partner said that particular word last night can be such a stress reliever. This way you'll focus more on your strengths and weaknesses. Lastly, but most importantly. 1. Set your priorities straight. Before going into a relationship think about what you need from it. Set your priorities straight and only commit if you get the indication at the start of the relationship. Once you are clear about your wants and needs you can have a clear discussion with your partner about it. 
Also, if something goes missing you can easily pinpoint it as well. This will also save you from comparing your relationship with someone else's. You won't get upset or angry at your partner, if they don't behave the particular way that your friend's partner does. Having a clear understanding of how your partner acts and behaves will give a clear indication of what you should expect out of it. Well, overthinking at a certain phase in a relationship may sound familiar to many of you. But, you need to put an end to that habit as it is neither healthy nor fun. It may be hard to slow down at first. However, practicing these six sure fire ways to stop overthinking in a relationship, will be beneficial to you in the longer run. Lastly, do you have any other tip which helped you stop overthinking? Do let me know in the comments below. With that it's a wrap. But I'll see you soon with another video to share my secrets to life, relationships, growth and much more. Till then take good care of yourself and others around. Also, do like, subscribe and share our content around. Don't forget to ring the bell too. Bye bye and thanks for watching.